Hello everyone, DJ Aaron here. You guys are in for a real big treat because this pertains to the studio. A while back, I was using a bit of software called FMLE, and we've noticed that the video on JustCast was a little bit uh, grainy or a little bit choppy or what have you. So, what we did was we installed a bit of software called Wirecast. If you guys don't know what Wirecast is, it's basically like FMLE with all the bells and whistles. Same thing with XSplit. It's pretty much almost literally the same thing. So what I'm going to do for you guys right now <clears throat> is I'm going to show you guys the ins and outs of uh, Wirecast and how it works and all that stuff. So we're going to open it, give it a little bit of there. So it's going to ask you to ver the publisher could not be verified, Did it, are you sure you want to uh, run this software? So we're going to run the software. It's going to take a few minutes because, uh, you know, I'm only running a AMD a AMD Athlon X, not an XP, but a 64 uh, X2 processor <clears throat> and one gigabyte of RAM, as, as you guys could probably understand. So while we wait for Wirecast to open, which it is opening, gotta wait for my icons to come back. I want to cancel the update. <clears throat> so here is Wirecast. It is nothing more than just a simple broadcaster, but look, <laughs> we have different things down here. What we can do is we can turn on the camera, as you can see. Hi. We have that. We could go to Manicam. And then we can go to just audio. But the way this is set up, it is set up to broadcast what you are broadcasting, which is pretty cool. So, if you see this little button right up here, it says broadcast. You can click that, and then you can start broadcasting on whatever site you want. And uh, it's pretty, pretty slick. You do uh, output, preview, lay, lay, layer, panel, da, 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 whatever that is. You do window, wirecast, camera preview. Uh, what's that? Uh, new layer window. We can do audio inspector. Let's go audio inspector. This is pretty much the way we have it set up. We want to add a live input. Line in. So pretty much we got the line in set for the live inspector. Okay, so we basically, I don't know if we need this anymore. So let's just open up a song here and we'll play something. Make sure we have audio. So I want to make sure we have audio and I'm not guessing that now that we have the live inspector set, Hey, it saved my list from the last show. What the heck? Okay, something went weird here.
Oh. There we go. As you can see, we got audio now. And this is Wirecast. Okay, so that works. It's pretty weird how it saved my list from the last show. <laughs> Alright, so we got Wirecast, and we know how, how to set it up. We can also import media, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool. Let's go... Uh, 320 for the canvas size. <laughs> it might even work better than before. All right. All right. So we did the video smaller. Okay. Let's, uh, let's close this. Let's save. And let's open Wirecast again. And here's the problem that I see. Um, when you try to open up Wirecast, it's it's still open. So what we're going to do is we're going to kill end progress tree and we're going to reopen it. Run. So that's the only problem I see. You have to end task by itself basically. And there we go. We got uh, we got the uh, template saved once again. It's set in 4x3, so I don't think we'll get, uh, um, should I say, dropouts. So, yeah, it's good in a way because I can now, let's see if the uh, task is now closed. Okay, it's now closed. It's good in a way now because the computer's able to run a little more efficiency than it was when it was in uh, HD. So there we go. We got that. I want to add something else here. Alright, so let's uh, see if I can add import uh, media. Let's see here. We want some pics. Let's do some pictures. What I want to do I want to add that. What I want to do is I want to move that before the actual timeline. And then, there we go, I'm expanding my timeline. We can add more to the timeline if we want to. So, cut it smooth, we can, let's smooth, slide it. There we go. We can get rid of this Manny cam, I believe, if we wanted to, but I guess we won't. 
so we're using Wirecast. I want to import more. I want to add more to my show. So. Add a bit strip. <laughs> okay, so I'm just having way too much fun with this. So, in my mind, I see that Wirecast is a very good thing because. I can go from whatever it is that I want to. We could even take out a shot. So it's it's pretty it's pretty slick and unique. Um, Wirecast for me is going to be great when I do shows on Justcast. Let's see if we could. Uh, well, when we close it, it's going to ask me to save. Just save that. So, in a nutshell, Wirecast is going to be great for shows because I can now do things that I couldn't do with FMLE, and it would take so much time to do them, uh, should I say, remotely through Manicam, which I probably won't need Manicam for a lot of things now, now that I got uh, Wirecast. So, Anyways, that is it for this video. Peace out, practice and enjoy, and we'll see you guys later. But, I would recommend Wirecast if you were going to do, uh, do shows like what me and Chris do. Um, yeah, I have to kill the EXE now. In progress tree. So, I would only recommend you guys to get Wirecast if you really need it. It's a very good bit of software, like I said. It's something that, you know, every broadcaster should use. And if they have an audio mixer like I have, and you want to uh, expand on it, you can do so. So anyways, guys, that will be the end of this video. I rambled on long enough for 13 minutes now so I'm gonna get this video uploaded it's a real big treat so highly recommend it peace out and practice and enjoy and uh, yeah it's been uh, it's been a great uh, great video so far so like I said I rambled on long enough peace out and practice and enjoy <laughs>